Hi everybody and welcome back. Well before we dive in and take a look at Linux Mint Nadia, just a quick update. Uh, I have temporarily postponed the parents podcast. I was unable to get all the participants on at the same time due to scheduling uh, conflicts. Don't know when I will be able to reschedule that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, I hope to be doing a podcast on how social media and or technology has affected you and your family. I hope to get as many parents on as I can, hence the name Parents Podcast. If you would like more information, just leave a comment or just send me a personal message. All right, but for now, let's take a nice look at the very nice Linux Mint 14 Nadia. All right, here we have Linux Mint 14. I'm running this inside a virtual machine with Ubuntu 12.04. Now, of course, these operating systems are released on a six-month regular cycle, as is Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Lubuntu, Zubuntu. Uh, have I missed anyone? Anyway, Linux Mint is one of my favorites. If you are uh, brand new to this, if you are using exclusively Windows or maybe uh, have considered you know, tinkering, tinkering around with Linux, this is one of my favorites. Uh, Linux Mint you know, has been one of my favorites now going on what, uh, going on three or four years now. This is Linux Mint 14, so let's take a quick look and see what we have here. So, let's pretend you are a Windows user, you are brand new, you just downloaded this, you know, maybe you're running this off uh, the CD, DVD, USB stick, or maybe you just took the plunge and, and are running this in a uh, dual boot inst installation. And you boot it into this. So let's take a look and see what we have. So you would right click as you could in Windows. If you wanted to change the background, you can just uh, click that. There we go. And as you can see, you have a very nice selection of backgrounds. Uh, oh, let's see, let's see, let's see. What shall we pick? Uh, let's pick the sky here. All right, that looks nice and peaceful. All right, and if you don't like that, of course, you can change it back to whatever you want. But for now, I'll leave it the way it is. You have a panel at the bottom here. If you click properties, you can move this to the top. I will do so. One thing I like about this versus Unity, you can right click on the panel and add applets, miniature or mini application. So for example, let's say I wanted to add the trash icon, applet application there it is right here okay you can also move it if you so choose to I'll leave it there for now and you know and there's your trash icon you cannot do this in unity or gnome 3 if you have heard of those desktop environments but starting from the right time and date internet volume right click you can mute it and go to your sound preferences sound effects hardware input output applications again if you've been using a computer for some time this should be somewhat easy for you you know coming from a Windows environment one of my other favorite things with Linux Mint is the Mint menu this is uh, their version of a shortcut a passage if you will a passage to the various applications installed pieces of software installed on your computer such as places system applications you can toggle back and forth between favorites and applications I like to leave it on uh, favorites for now of course the uh, Firefox web browser installed by default various messaging uh, mail clients here such as Thunderbird mail Banshee media player calculator and so on and so forth let's take a look at the system monitor and I bet this is probably not using a lot of RAM and it is not. This is using about 212 megabytes of RAM. By the way, this is the Linux Mint Mate or Mate edition. They do offer another version of Linux Mint called Cinnamon. I found this one to be a little bit more stable and it runs a little bit faster. And personally, I think this is easier to, to use. Now, you can certainly try both. They are both, uh, they are both available as a free download but getting back to the mint menu there is a search a nice handy 
search bar here let's say I was looking for mm, let's type in music now when I do this you can search Google for music Wikipedia dictionary search the computer for music or install packages from the internet that have to do with music again this is a very nice convenient shortcut application here but let's search computer for music and of course it has Linux Smith has a music folder and there it is again it's that simple you have other shortcuts here again this would be somewhat similar to Windows and you can change from icon view list view assuming that I had stuff here which I don't and you can maximize it minimize it or close it either here or just hit close again very easy to use and I think I'll just close this out altogether click that again let's go to uh, all let's go to this real quick appearance Apton CD archive manager assistive technologies backup tool banshee now I won't go through all of these of course you got Bluetooth here let's pick uh, oh yeah, let's go to the Firefox web browser and let's go to the uh, here this is a press release here now this is the uh, Linux Mint 14 Nadia release candidate let's click that and you can get more information here on the blog now it has new features at a glance this is Mate version 1.4 it would appear uh, system requirements you need at least 512 megabytes of RAM they recommend one gigabyte and so do I okay it is available in 32 and 64 bit editions various countries here to download the ISO from let's go all the way down let's see what else we have and we have responses to Navia release again if you are coming from Windows if you need more information you can just simply go to the website here or just ask me your question if you so choose to it looks like many many comments here this wasn't this was released uh, I think this was released only a few days ago yeah on the 11th so this is it I as a Windows user I pretty much like what I see um, let me just click here new features at a glance. let me just click mate 1.4 I mean, I mean I've done many reviews on Linux Smith before here on the channel and it says here mate or Marte is working hard at providing a rock-solid environment and the continuation of GNOME 2 in 2011 GNOME 2 was renamed mate and mate 1. Point something made it possible for GNOME users to continue to use their favorite desktop uh, there were a few hiccups along the way and a few regressions six months later mate 1.2 brought many bug fixes and a much more solid experience I've been using mate uh, Linux Mint 13 and for me it's been pretty solid pretty stable I gotta tell you as a Windows user you know it's right now it's my second favorite operating system to use right next to um, Windows 7 so you know and there's some screenshots here you're welcome to take a look at this this is the Linux uh, Mint cinnamon version here this looks pretty good too but honestly right now I would probably stick with the Mate edition if you're going to download and try Linux Mint 14 well you know what I think I'll I will leave it at that let me go back to the uh, original wallpaper here and I noticed this one actually says Nadia not 14 but yeah uh, definitely check this out you can go to linksmith.com and download the ISO make sure you check the MD5 to make sure that the file you downloaded is not corrupt if it is corrupted you will have to delete it and download again never ever ever install a corrupted download alright guys that's it thank you so much for this edition of Total OS Today taking a look at Linux Mint 14 Nadia I like what I see so far. If you are coming from Windows, I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching, and as always, I will catch you guys sometime in the future.